We've had a few emails about people looking to buy MATLAB. The bookshop doesn't sell it. Um, and so the place you need to go is to the MathWorks website. So note, this is mathworks.com.au and along the top there's some links and we click on the academia one. Um, there's learn, teach, research, we want to learn MATLAB. So there's the MATLAB and Simulink student version. So let's click on that. And there's a list of what it has. So we want to buy now. We want to select Australia. And we're going to use it as student use. You need to select for 2011A. I wouldn't worry about 2010A, that's old and depreciated, so let's get the new one. I think most of us will be using Windows, I'm running Linux at the moment, some people will have a Mac, so I'm going to select this just because that's what I'm running. Um, this is a list of items you can buy, but the one we want is MATLAB and student version the box, add to cart and continue. You can download it via the internet or you can ship a product in as a DVD. This is what I did when I bought it a few years ago now. Um, the times have changed so you can download it now. I think it's about a four gigabyte download. So you'd want pretty good internet to be able to download this but if you can, I'd recommend it because that way you can get it straight away and get straight to work. Otherwise, like most of us, you'll probably have to get the DVD shipped to you. I'm just going to check this option for the moment because it's probably the simplest. It's $99 US, which is about 99 Australian. So it's not a bad purchase for most of your degree because it's less than most textbooks for your subjects are going to cost and it's going to last for your four or five year degree anyway so let's just check out that you need to create an account if you don't have one let me try and remember my login details it's been a few years I've changed passwords a few times I think this will be it if I can spell it correctly Okay, that seems to have worked. So the main thing with the student version is it's cheaper than normal MATLAB and you get a few more features. There's a statistics toolbox, there's symbolic math toolbox, which I used for a few assignments in first year. So it's a good little piece of software. So to activate it, you need proof of student status. So once we've gone through and accepted terms, bought it, and billing, so I'm going to stop here because I don't want to put any credit card details in. Okay. Whatever, put your details in there. Again, uh, it's remembered details from when I bought it. Um, so hopefully, yeah, once you've put your payment details in and continued, there shouldn't be too much else to it. So hopefully, you can find your way there. But what they talk about with proof of student status is I recall what I had to do is if you go to current students click on e-student and if you enter your JC login and if you I think if you go to my study plans once it loads I think there's two options now you can do. You might be able to scan your student ID card and email that scan to them. Or alternatively, I think what I had to do is I have to, it's not down the bottom here. I think I have to, it might be current enrollment. You need to show them that you're currently enrolled in subjects. So if we go to my study plans, click on the my current enrollment tab and if we, there it is. If we go to the bottom, it says email my enrollment advice. We click that. E-student's going to send a email with what subjects you're enrolled in. And that's a PDF. And if you email that to MathWorks, they'll sh 
they'll be able to see your enrolled in subjects and that should be all the proof of student status you need to use the student version so if you're looking to buy it I'd get on as soon as you can and yep it's a good piece of software and I'd recommend using it because that way you don't need to come out to uni all the time to use the student computers in the labs okay thanks